Welcome to Off Stage Hang, episode 67. 68? 68. Episode 68. Darren Lim, Rames Marasigan, and our guest, Sir Bud. Buddy Zabala. Buddy. May intro ka ba? May tapos oh, yes. ng intro kay Buddy. So, sa, uh, no, no, just to, ano, so of course, our, our guest is from multiple bands, but sa ngayon, that's, he works with multiple bands, but we all know him as, siyempre, the basis for the E-Heads. So sa, sa ngayon, uh, he works with Gambio, Moonstar, previously The Don and Hilera. So right now, I think uh, you guys are promoting a show. We have a band together. It's called uh, sorry, you have a band together called Ultra, Ultra Combo. Combo. And you have a show. We have a series of shows. Yes, yes we have a series of In shows. In America City. Buds, do the City. honors. Okay. Glasses, 50-year-old glasses. <laughs> and according to this, okay. Um, we are coming to an American city near you. Uh, April 8th, we're in Jacksonville, Florida. And then April 9th, in Dallas, Texas. April 15th, Las Vegas, Nevada. So Nevada palang Las Vegas. Ano? <laughs> April 16th, Los Angeles in California, IA. 20th, April 22 in New York, New York. And then the last show is in April 23, on April 23, Rockville, Maryland. Wow. Darren, Buddy is here because we are rehearsing the set. Ah. Oh, okay. Buddy, how many songs have we rehearsed so far? <laughs> yeah, that's not all that we're going to play. But I know, I know. Because it's a long tour, so siempre may may mapapalitan, may may ano. How many songs have we prepared? Uh, last count, twenty-three, twenty-five. 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 25. 25 songs. <laughs> We're that playing all of them all the time. No, no, I no. cannot. Parang ano siya, talagang full-blown, it's a full uh, ex- bonanza. I think, I think after the pandemic, parang kami ni Buddy, let's uh, parang stretch out a little mm-hmm. bit. We're so uh-huh. used to playing, you know, long set na 10, 12 songs with, with Moonstar and Sandwich. But both bands have been stretching into longer sets. Wala lang. Oh, the, the most yata na, t- na tutug ng Moonstar was 15 or 16. Tsaka I'm sure the people would love to have more to hear more of your set. Kaya oh, it's a super winning situation. Mismo, mismo. Uh, 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 we'd love to play more actually. Because um, and daming kanta ng heads na no, and I, I I still love playing. So, which one's your favorite play like now? Because I still get it wrong sometimes. <laughs> uh, El Bimbo, surprisingly, <laughs> dahil may parts do na kailangan may single note na boom two three. Or then another note. Ang hirap tuktugin ng mabagal. The patience. The patience. Eh, I'm by definition impatient ako tao. And yun. So I want to fill in all the time ng tunog or something. May naisip ako. I, I wanna do it kagad. But more often than not, what the song needs is just one note. Boom. Mm. Four. Then another note. Mm. Eh, yun. May nag request recently darin yun. Na challenge kami para. Somebody requested shake your head in one of the sets. Oh my so, ko, we rarely play it because one, I couldn't play it when we recorded it. Physically, I sa drums. Oh, okay. my mind like we were talking earlier, parang my mind can compute what it I'm supposed to play, but my body is not. My teenage, my younger self couldn't play it at the time. Mm-hmm. So we recorded it with just tambourine and hand claps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, walang drums yun. No, at walang metronome for for people who are use, who know about metronomes in modern recording. Oh, in yes. modern recording, it's it's something that uh, musicians use to record in so time. they're in time. Uh, when we were younger, we had no concept of time we except did, yung yeah. time namin. Oh, it was uh, personal. <laughs> diba? It was personal time. <laughs> 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 on that day. <laughs> on that day. I, I, I have time to record. Let's record. <laughs> <laughs> Ilang kape na inum mo oh, or soft drinks oh. or kulang ka sa tulog. That's oh, the tempo of oh. the song. I only have time to record for one hour and then I have to watch a movie sa SM North. <laughs> SM <laughs> North, <laughs> oh, mag-commute ka pa, diba? diba? So, yun so, yung concept So, I time. think that's a good place to start. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe I can ask both of you kung... And yung maybe the song that it's the, it's on your set list, pero ay nyo parin tin Ah, wala. Ako wala. Ah, wala. I think every song on the set list is vetted na. Do we, do we like, wanna play this? Mm. Wala naman ako. Oh. Ikaw. Ako, I. Paano ba? Uh, may sinabi si Raymond dati na yung playing ko is, is a live kind of playing, meaning. I don't rehearse it so much, and then I repeat what I rehearsed uh, night in, night out. So, so performance. Live mode. Live mode. Live mode. Um, yung pag pinindot mo yung button, naka, naka label, bahala na. <laughs> Yun. 
mas na challenge ako doon. I I really love yung ganong classing challenge. So same thing when when I'm playing the head songs, um, I welcome any song. Mm-hmm. I would rather make a mistake and then try to catch up or uh, kong to fake my way through it than to say no. I don't want to play it. I'll, I'll play it anytime. Live mode meaning alam mo yung chord progression, mm-hmm. alam mo yung sequence ng song, mm-hmm. verse chorus verse. Mm-hmm. So unless it's a riff, unless it's a riff like dun 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 na kailangan na kailangan oh, na obligado. Oh, no, oh, right. Ito medyo jazz ah, yung galing, approach na galing. going from G to the next chord, iba yung dadaanan niya or iba or pwedeng eight notes or sixteenths or ano, mm-hmm. nag-iiba. That's that's what 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 it means when it's live mode. A lot of older musicians, we got it from older musicians it's uh-huh. like sina the jerks would play something like that. Yeah. Yeah. For me, sorry, sorry. Uh, parang as a fan, parang it gives me something na iba eh. Parang ibang flavor during the live show. Pero yun nga, ang galing na sinabi niya. Pero except kung yung baseline ng alapap, kailangan eh. Oh, may mga obligado. Yun. Na yun yung okay, obligado. pag na-dignan lahat ng tao ito. Hindi mo pwede palitan yun. Yung sample, oh. kumbaga yun na yung sample eh. Kailangan pag, yun na Pag yun. binago mo yun, it's a different song. Oh. The people will go like, anong kanta yan? Mm. Yeah. Pero kumbaga, yung other parts na kumbaga yung sinasabi niya na live mode, it gives the the audience something a different flavor every time for most it. drummers ang live mode the fills nag-iiba yung fills mm-hmm. every night uh, so, for for bassists naman eh, yung tipong okay so it's two chords and then i'll i'll make it four chords mm-hmm. uh, y- parang ganun sa bassist eh. or passing notes and the uh, harmonies or sometimes it's all the way around parang ang daming chords naman ito maybe i'll mm-hmm. stay on one note one mm-hmm. chord lang will that work so could be so can we uh, not talk about naman how how you learned the bass and i think uh, based on my content uh, research, you grew up in Zamboanga, right? Yes, so, 17 years in Zamboanga uh, uh, City. How, what was the process like? What were you listening to? And how did you develop your skills? Wow. Uh, okay. Um, yung start musical journey ko was, uh, yung dad ko, I was in second, no, first year high school. Mm-hmm. That was in 1984. Ano siya, um, he wanted to give me a Christmas gift. And then sabi ko, uh, I wanted a harmonica. So, binala niya ako ng honor. Yung may button. Uh, you know, oh, you brought that to college. No, exactly. Yeah. Ah, it's, a, wow. it's, a, it's a chromatic <laughs> honor na, na I could never learn to play with a sharp. Kasi ano yun eh, when you press the button, magiging sharp yung note or flat. Mm. Mm. Hindi ko kaya tugtugin. Yung ala um, Stevie Wonder, I couldn't play like that. Pero sinusubukan ko. Is it still alive? It's still alive. I'm oh still God. using it. Kinakalawang lang, kaya medyo kadiri gamitin. <laughs> but I still use it. Yun. Um, I, I started with that and then nagkaroon ako ng langka guitar na nylon strings na binili ng dad ko from uh, Cebu. Uh, Cebu at that time. Langka. Hanggang ngayon may langka pa rin. Right, right. They, still, they still make that. Yeah. At that time, sa Cebu lang available. So, pinapaship niya pa yun. Isipin niya yun. He had it shipped from Cebu to Zamboanga all the way. Binabapor yun. Pinabar ko. Then after that, second year high school, um, we live on a a national highway na medyo manipis. So, imagine nyo yung bahay namin na luma and then 10-wheeler truck sa harap. Do, that kind of dumadaan. highway. Dumadaan. O, dumadaan. Busy. So, so, busy siya. Yung mayanik. Across that, may Yamaha dealership na no, mga, mga motor. And then one, that summer, biglang nagbenta sila ng mga Yamaha for the tone. Keyboards. Keyboards, yeah. Yan yung mga tuk 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 Yan. So, um, I enrolled Mm, to learn, classes. to read, to uh, classes, to read, to be able to read notes. Because that's the way to go. Nag-enroll ako. I was so lucky because the teacher there, ito yung, <laughs> dami, ang dami kwento nito. Yung teacher namin doon was a boarder in our house. Uh, ang house kasi namin, because it's an old house, yung second floor, we took in lady boarders. <laughs> lady boarders. <laughs> And the whole family came in sa baba. So you're all boys. And we're all boys. <laughs> may dalawa ako oh kuya. God. May dalawa ako kuya. Ako yung pangatlo. Tapos may punso kami babae. So there were a lot of lady boarders upstairs. Mga pharmacists, uh, teachers. Nag-aaral. Yeah, man. nag-aaral. Ganun. May iba na professionals, bank tellers. And one of them was a Yamaha Electon teacher across the road, across the street. So summer, I, I took lessons there. Kasi kilalang kilala ako. Eh. I mean, kilala na. Kilala na namin. Uh-huh. Apparently, matigas yung ulo ko as a student dahil kahit na tinuturuan niya ako magbasa ng Oblady, Oblada, Turn Ko Now, 
hindi pumapasok, I would gusto kong tugtugin another way. Ito yung tamang fingering, sabi ng teacher. I would do it the way I wanted. So after two weeks, nag-give up siya, gumib up siya. Gumib up na rin ako. And then, I nakita ko yung mga malilit na keyboard. Um, at para saan yan, sabi ko? Para sa mga bata. So, can I try? So I learned on it na, na may natutunan akong uh, wave. Alam mo yung kanta that's way beyond beyond panahon ng mga mga lola at lolo at tito at tita um inaral ko yon habang tinutugtog ko may uh, may old older lady na pumasok tinabihan ako oh you know that song ganun oh how much is this magkano to magkano 5000 uh, i think at that time it was 5000 in retail medyo mahal na rin medyo mahal na rin pss no psr and we malit PSS. PS, no, PS3. PS3. Ah, PS3. PS3. I was, tinugtog ko, tapos shiner... Mini keys? Mini keys. It was brown like this. Shiner ko doon sa older lady na pumasok na ito po yung price. And, um, lucky for me, binili, bumili siya while I was sitting down. So, sabi ng owner, ah, so, nabenta mo. May commission ka. What? Summer. Second year high school. Wow. Like, Pwede pa na ako mag-demo dito, magbenta. Oh, may gulay. So, um, lucky for me, I was able to do that. It wasn't even my sale. I was just sitting down and playing. So, uh, my commission ako, and then the rest of the summer, I spent doon demoing bigger bigger and bigger keyboards. Mm-hmm. You know? I think yeah. I gotta set up a keyboard. Keep talking. Pag nakabenta ako, me. meron akong commission. So, I was able to save up. Uh, nilagay ko sa savings account ko nung uh, high school. And uh, I, I, I still have the savings account hanggang ngayon. Do you still have the keyboard? The keyboard, no more. I s- Is that what you brought sa college? I brought it to college and then I I sold it to our um, dorm director. Oh yes, you did sa Malave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pero may tanong ako, uh, di ba nag-stop ko mag-lessons? Kasi di ba, After two weeks. Uh, paano, ka, paano mo alam yung song kung hindi ka nag-lessons? Naririnig ko sa parents ko. So, Dahil, ginawa mo lang oh, on your own? Sa, Tulad ng mga older houses dati, may mga ano yun eh, may malaking radio, ah uh, sorry, stereo na may phonograph. Uh-huh. Ang mom and dad ko love to listen to Perry Como, um, Abba, uh, oh my gulay. And then I had a brother, an uh, older brother who listened to George Benson, um, wow, uh, Foreigner. Mm-hmm. So lumang tugtugan plaka talaga. So naririnig ko yun. Wala akong choice but to hear it loudly every almost every day. Then sila yung may hawak ng plaka. I'd hear them na pumasok na sa isip ko and then I'd hear it in my head. So I I try to replicate. So it. naging hindi mo alam widow pa, diba yun yung tawag nila widow. Widow. Okay. Oh. Yun na yung yun ka na. Is oh. that a Spanish word? Widow, yeah. Widow. O widow. From what word? Uh, to hear, to hear. Oh. Ah. Widow. So, uh, how do you spell it? Uh, well, sa Chabacano, we spell O-I. it O-I. Uido. O-I. Uido. O-I. Okay. Okay. So, wow. yun. Sa Manila kasi, W-I-D. Uido. Oo, oh, oh, kala ko Uido. Parang, okay. Pare, pare-pareho lang naman. Ah, eh. pareho. They all sound the same. Yun. So, apparently, hindi ako big on learning how to read the notes. Mm-hmm. But, in Uido ko na lang. Mm-hmm. Yun yung term. So, dun nagsimula yung musical journey ko. But, eventually, di ba... Uh, nag-meet kayo ni Rem sa UP, mm. was your Fresh course one. music? No. Ah, hindi. No. hindi. hindi. Ano kami? Uh, oh, may isa pa pala. May isa pa pala ang kuyang to about growing up. Before college. Eh, eh, sorry, sorry. Yes. Okay lang. Before college. Um, may barkada ako. Lima kaming guys sa Ateneo. And then, uh, gusto namin magtayo ng banda but nobody could play drums, nobody could play guitars, wala kaming bass or anything. But we had a lot of keyboards. Marami kaming ganito. Ah, on cue. So, nags- thank you <laughs> sa keyboard. Nag-set up kami ng ano, uh, dalawa kami sa barkada tumutugtog. Hmm. Somebody would play ng tug-tug-tug-tug-tug-tug. Tug, isa tutugtog ng bass pa lang. Ako yun. Tapos habang may tumutugtog ng chord. So, lahat kayo nasa keyboard? Dalawa lang nasa keyboard. <laughs> Tapos yung isa tumutugtog ng a third keyboard. The other three wow. would sing. Yung, yung tatlo kumakanta in wow. harmony. So, at least akala namin magandang tunog namin. But we tried. Ang wow. unang... What was the name of the band? 
wala kaming name ng band eh, but we called ourselves Beige for whatever. Mm. Oh, dahil so, atin ayo Beige kayo. No, no. <laughs> dahil, dahil yung mga first dahil yung mga first letter ng mga pangalan namin. B E B H A J. Do I know these cats? Yes, you know them. <laughs> Ako si Buddy, si H is Hector, another Hector. Then si A is Alan, J is Jonathan, si Dingdong. Si Dingdong oh, yeah, Then E is M. That's lima kaming barkada. Hindi siya sa I I N M. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Kalo, okay. M. Okay, okay. As in M. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Okay. His real name is Emmanuel. Your your second name. <laughs> ano kami? Uh, in invite kami na all girls school. I mean sister wow. school na tineyo. Um, meron merong parang um like a beauty contest. We were invited to perform. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Serenade. We were invited to serenade Harana. the winner. Harana. Kami magharana. So inaral namin kanta. Uh, this this song by R N R. Called When Will You Be Mine? I know the band. I know. When will you be mine? Can I just say, sobrang galing na nilagay mo ng piano kasi parang naimagine ko. Kasi kumagano pa siya kanina. Oo, oh, naimagine ko oh. agad. Hindi natin to kaya sa Zoom <laughs> offstage pa rin. <laughs> pero lagi kong gusto gawin sa Zoom offstage pero di ba lagi, uy, kunin mo yung gitara. Oh. Eto, hindi. Eto, okay, galing, so, so, do you know what R&R means? As in rock and roll? As in rock and roll. But they spell but, it, spell it A R E N A R R something. Oh, parang ganon. I, I don't know. They spelled R N R. We were younger than them. Mm. Oh, yun. So in, yun, yun yung aming first performance as a band. We played to all girls. We didn't know what we were doing. We were just having fun. Tapos, so was that the moment? But I want to do this because that, that's a live audience, and girls are the perfect audience. Oh, oh, they will always cheer for. Mm. And then there were a couple of then the boys on stage and oh, boy, boys oh, in a band oh, performing. Oh. Tu sila. Oh. Kami din siya tuwang tuwang. All girls <laughs> cool. Us, they were they were shouting, like, screaming at us. Hindi ko alam how we sounded. Hindi ko alam. Alam ko lang we were boys playing in an all girls school. So. That's uh, parang gusto mo yung concept na yun. Oh, oh. <laughs> How are you plugged sa sa app? Oh, there's no amps back in Wala, the day. Walang amp. Yo, dali magandang tanong. Speakers, yung speakers na naka-mic. May baon kaming dalawang minus one machines. Those big karaoke. Karaoke. Oh my god. Oo. Oh, so two keyboards ko connected to one karaoke. The oh, so you third keyboard to the, to that same karaoke and then all three mics to another karaoke. That's the lyrics of Beta Max. There you go. Yo. Pwede na rin bass amp ang lumang karaoke. Yun. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry. Oh, pero pero maganda yun. Pero da, yung pinakamagandang kwento sa sa part ng kwento na to was that request ng 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 sister school namin to for us to perform two songs. We only had time to rehearse for R&R. &R. <laughs> Mula na kami pang harana. Biglang, wait, dala natin. May dala tayong minus one machine, di ba? Sing along system ng mm. karaoke. Play, play tayo ng minus one. <laughs> Multiplex yun eh. No. We played the minus one for the second you song. You faked it? Yes, we had ah. to. Because we didn't have time to, to, to learn it. And it was... Um, you lip-synced it as Stig. <laughs> hindi, hindi, hindi lip-sync. Live. Ah, live yeah, singing. Naka, naka, naka multiplex ah, for, para But you mga... didn't fake playing keyboards. Hindi na, hindi okay, na. That, that's too much. Okay, I thought you were making playing keyboards. Ganda na lang. lang. Kala ko, genius na yun. Kasi ang uh, nung time na yun, multiplex was pag full left, uh, bosses lang. Mm. Tama ba? Pag full right, yung music, yung minus one. Galing na na. So, so for the second song, nag, nag multiplex kami, full right, minus one, kumanta yung tatlo. Tuwan tuwa. Tas kami dun, nakata nakatayo na lang kami niya. Because, <laughs> basking in the glow. Oh, it, it's the right thing to do. You look at girls and uh -huh. it's high school, di ba? Mag-enjoy ka. Pagdating ng dulo ng kanta, yung pinakamataas na part, uh, at hindi magbabago, di ba? So, it hits the high note. At hindi nag-brown out. Zambuang gabi, zambuang <laughs> nag-brown out. So yung narinig ng audience was, at hindi... Wow. Namatay yung mind. What's that? At hindi nagbabago. At puso ko. At hindi nagbabago. Ang tako ng puso ko. Wala rin na hanapin pa. Kundi abibig mo. Yan. Si Basil ang kumanta niyan. Basil? Louis? Louis Heredia? Louis Heredia. So, pagdating sa part na, at hindi, namatay yung kuryente. <laughs> Tapos yung tipong yung nag-spool down yung, yung cassette. Rinig na rinig talaga. Diba? Ang bad trip noon. 
Zamboanga being Zamboanga, babalik yung kuryente. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
walang uh, artists in Zamboanga who at that time who made their own music and then performed their own music. Mm. So ang sikat na banda sa amin was um, mga cover band. Mm. Um, remember sa Zamboanga it's a, it's still a frontier town hanggang ngayon. Pero we had an air base, so merong air force, we had a navy base. So we had an army uh, army base, we had rangers, we had marines. Yes, so ang daming yeah. military ano doon. And kung may military entertainment follows. May entertainment sa labas. And yung entertainment sa labas ay music. Music. Or and you have to play it well para uh, gusto ka nila, di ba? So it was a lot of scorpion, a lot scorpion. of scorpion, <laughs> a lot of foreigner. Yun yung kinalakihan ko. Uh, Paano yun? Yung mga Yun, but you know the song. It was a lot of eagles, um, mm, a lot mm. of Don Henley. So yun yung inaral ko growing up. So college ko lang narinig kung ano yung. Oh, ito pala yung new wave. Mm. Ito pala yung. Ito pala yung maingay. And your OPM was also different from our OPM. Yeah, so because ah. I grew up again in Zamboanga, and yung uh, exposure ko to to OPM was just radio, mm. meaning um, mainstream radio. And yung pinakasikat na na station was an MRS mm. station, meaning um, most requested song. Mm. How most requested shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, we play the most requested shit day in day out. <laughs> most requested song station every hour on the hour. Patutugtugin nila ang kanta. Mm. So yung challenge ko for myself to be able to learn how to play was uh, umaga pagising ko, makikinig na ako on the hour. Drum parts sa aralin ko yung tuk 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 sa keyboard tuk 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 Hindi ako magaling, pero inaaral ko. Kasi may nakikita ako na bewilder ako. Yun nga, yung gano'n na drums dito. Si Jay Durias. Oh, yun nga, parang oh my God. Exactly, yun. Lahat yung mga keyboards dati, may may drums yan dito somewhere. And then you'll be able to play yeah. drums. So, so, so I, I can't do that. Split yung keyboard, di ba? Oh. So, wow. inaaral ko yun. That, that's how I learned to play. Wow. So, yung mga first two hours, aralin, aralin ko yung drums. By mga 9 or 10 in the morning, bass na inaaral ko. Di ba? Wow. So yun yung inaaral ko. And then chords and then guitars. Pagdating ng vocals hapon, pagod na ako. Hindi ko na inaaral yung lyrics. <laughs> Plus na nakakanta mo na lang. Kaya hanggang ngayon, I'm really bad with lyrics. Because Kasi hindi ko inaaral yung lyrics. used to play sa dorm, you used to play to the girls. <laughs> May piano sa dorm eh. So pagkasama na yung band, syempre yun yung mga hip new wave songs at the time. Pero sa piano, you would play mga open, mga Gary V. Kung maga pantay na pantay sila uh, doon. Oh, oh, pantay na pantay oh. sila doon. Ano yung Spotify eh. May live player doon eh. Tama, tama, uh, Because tama. the challenge when you're in college, ay tutugtugan ng piano until may lulapit, may tatabi na babae. Oo, oh, may tatabi. Ah! <laughs> So, Kaya ako natuto mag-piano, tinuruan ako ni Paddy. <laughs> talaga? Oo, oh, talaga. Pare. Pero sa church nag-organ. Organ yun, hindi yung piano. Ah, Iba, yun. Wait, ba? Yung, yung kwento mo, yung organ na inaral mo was the one with the pedals. Yeah, so, I, I have a pedal. So yun, I yun. can still play it. So, yung organ, electo na inaral ni Raymond was parang volume pedal sa kanan, left was yung bass notes. Bass. Yun, no, yung Marabe. Kaya madali yung ba- drums, yung transition. Yun, ba- yun, Paddy taught me how to play yung a real piano without the bass drum. Tapos, sa kanya rin ako natuto nung, nung pop. Kasi nga, mm. suplado ako eh. New wave kami eh. Punks lang yung gusto namin. Ito, eh. ito college. Mga ganyan, di ba? So, sakop mo lahat nung tao from new wave to pop. You play mga Tasha stuff. Mga, what else did you play? Charday. Uh, yung kung anong sikat during that time. Kung ano yung soundtrack nung movies. Kung ano yung soundtrack. You would play that. So, so paano nag-shift yung mentality mo slowly na parang, okay, I think kahit na hindi, yun nga yung college band mm-hmm. na inis mo, okay, this might be just a, kailan nag-start siya mag-shift and kailan mo na-accept na, uh, maybe this is my career. You know? Akala ko, mag-keyboard ako sa banda. I, mm-hmm. I always thought I would play piano or keyboard in a band. Sorry. Um, Hindi nangyari kasi kasama ko si Raymond, si Eli, tsaka si Marcus. No place for keyboards. Hmm. May drummer, may singer, may bassist, may guitar player, two or, or one. Yun lang, walang place for for keyboards. And then, at that time, yung tinutugtog natin was a lot of covers na, na intersection na alam namin. 
Mm. So, yung musical tastes namin iba iba. Mm. But we would intersect with the stuff I heard sa New Wave on, on Raymond's radio. Uh, the Yung pop na alam namin ni Ellie, um, Beatles, ay intersection ng, ng Eraserheads. That's why we know a couple of Beatles mm. songs. Um, pop, kung ano man yung pop na nag intersect na alam namin, we'd know a lot, some Motown music dahil panahon ng tito at ng lo, tito at tita natin ala, naririnig natin yung growing up kahit pa paano um, ano pa ba? ano pa ba yung I had a different na? version oh. kaya ka hindi nag keyboards or kaya hindi tayo nag keyboards because nobody had a drummer and a bass player nobody would play the bass and drums I was still hoping magkakaroon ng, ng totoong drummer and totoong bassist <laughs> I was still that, hoping that so, was a possibility parang at first, I was the bass player mm. because I still wanted to play bass. Oh. Siya yung drummer, pero mali-mali yung tinutugtog ko, tapos lagi niyang tinuturuan. Sabi ko, ikaw na lang mag-bass. But I think that's the only reason why we never play keyboard but, but, in the back. Kano kadali sa'yo mag-transition from piano to bass? Dahil, nag, dahil binilan ako ng dad ko nung langka mm. na guitar. Ah, yeah. oh, so, oh. um, Ibig sabihin, mataas yung action? Mataas naman lahat ng action <laughs> ng gitara dati. So, kalyo-kalyo oh, yan dati. Oh. Wala akong choice. So, May idea ko of how to play notes na ganun, other than yung chords, yung tutugtog ng chord. Um, so, tinranslate ko lang yung alam kong melodies playing with the right hand. Nilipat ko sa left. Tapos, ito na yung naging... So, ang challenge was, sabay na lang. Hanggang ngayon, challenge pa rin. At ano kabilis mo nagawa yung process na yun? Kasi parang it seems na... You, you guys were on your way, so parang you had to learn fast, di ba? Oh, oh, eh, ano to, um, yung heads uh, is that you learned it on the way. Literally, yung sinabi mo on the way. <laughs> Hindi yung tipong magre-rehearse kami oh. the same song, aralin namin for dalawang araw, tapos magpapakita kami, Hey, we have a new song. Oh. Hindi, hindi ganun. Pagpasok namin ng studio, at least para sa akin, pagtugtog, okay, anong key natin? C, okay, paparinig, ito yung demo. Biglang, ah okay, sige, kaya ko. Gagawa ko na ng parts doon. So, so, ibang skill rin, totally different. I mean, uh, grabe. Well, hindi siya skill more more than, again, babalikan ko yung sinabi ko kanina, which was, I'd like to challenge myself with the live mode playing. So, akala ko tama yung ginagawa ko. Turns out, yung ginawa ko was just sufficient enough to hold the the, the recording, to, to, to sufficient enough for the recording to be Passable, kumaga. Parang ganun. In terms of playing, Buddy was more advanced than the three of us. Mm. Tapos, his ears were also more advanced. Uh, tell us, tell us, Buddy, how you developed those ears in college. I mean, I know the answer, but tell, tell us. Mm. Wow. Uh, hindi ko alam yung specific kwento tungkol sa college, but balik ako sa Zamboang growing up. Um, Meron, may tawag sila sa musicians na may merong perfect pitch. Mm-hmm. Yung tipong pag hiningi mo, ay, give me a B-flat. Mm-hmm. Kaya niyang kantahin. Um, ako, relative... Relative pitch. Relative pitch. Meaning, I'd hear, may, may maririnig ako something na fa- I'm familiar with. Biglang, uy, alam ko, key of ganito yan. Mm-hmm. So when I... That's a fifth interval uh, or a minor pag may, third. Pag, pag may hiningi silang key, ganun, or something, iisipin ko parang, ah, okay, hanapin ko yung relationship, then I'd sing that. Mm-hmm. So, magmumukhang may perfect pitch or ganun. But it's actually relative pitch. So, minaaral ko is actually mga tunog. Mga sounds that we're familiar with or I'm familiar with. In our house, meron kaming malaking exhaust fan, lumang bahay. It was always tuned to the key of F. Pag <laughs> naka-on yung key of F, bass. Ito yun. How did you figure it out na key of F? No, may gitara ako, may harmonica ako. May, then, may, may keyboard naman. So, aral, aralin ko yung ganun biglang. So, pag they actually teach this in YouTube now. Cool. This way, that parang find a relative sound that you're very familiar with and memorize it. Oh, memorize it. Tapos alam ko yung pakiramdam ng fan na yun sa katawan ko. Mm, ganun. <laughs> so, I know this is this is F. Mm, so, if I need to tune a guitar, uh, let's say a bass guitar, mm, I sing down lower. Mm, that's the E. So, to... So, totoo ano ko na yun doon. And then, um, that's how I learned to deal with mga tunog, with, with sounds. And then, um, so, every time may tutugtog ng 
ng, ng bagong music. Let's say si Ellie had, had a song now he wanted us to learn. It's in the key of G. Um, high, school, high school pa lang, like any nerd, <laughs> like any nerd, ang ginawa ko, chinart ko lahat nung, na, lahat nung nare-realize ko about patterns. Mm-hmm. I'm big fan ako ng, chord, ng chords and uh, harmony. So, alam ko na if the, kung let's say yung kanta ni Ellie, may the demo siya sa amin like pare ko. Mm-hmm. Diba? Key of G. Pare ko. Pero ano kong problema? Mm-hmm. So, alam ko for a fact na yung mga chords will be chances are G, C, D, merong baka may E minor, may E minor, then then magre-resolve siya to D bago pumalik sa G yung bahay. Inaral ko yan on my own. I had no teacher to teach me that. I, it was uh, listening to so much pop music and so me, so many songs na nakita ko yung patterns. Na decode mo na. Oo. Oh, yung pala, kung G, yun, yun yung chords. So I could transform pose yun yung maglilipat ka ng key and then you'd know all the songs easily so let's say kung may may kanta siya in C ay mali yung pare ko pala is in C ah okay o pare ko mayroon akong problema kasi yun 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 kahit saan oh, okay. so kaya ko nang i-transpose because alam ko yung pattern wow. di ba? huwag na nating idaan sa mabuting usapan so kung nag-iba yung singer Ano lang. Oh, yun, lang. Yun, and they would do it to this day. Sila ni Paolo. Yun I yung, can't do it. But I see them. Para, masyadong ma- matakas ka na yan. Ah, so, iaayusin mo. Kailangan. And they do it live. Oh, 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 that night, oh, medyo malat. Oh, Sabi niya kay Paolo, oh, Paolo, kumbahan oh, natin ng two wow. steps. Star. I can't do that. I know the concept. I can't do oh, that. Oh, oh. No, I was talking about buds. Mm. Pag, kasi wala kang gagawin sa college. Eh. Wala ka namang pera. So, wala namang internet noon, nung mm. araw. Wala pa ng so, internet. Si, si Buddy, I, I would catch him sa dorm, would spin the dial of my radio, ah, spin it. Kasi this story. Umi, spin the dial, and then stop it. Kung saan huminto, kakapain niya. Wow. The, as, as fast as he can. Kahit commercial. What's going on natin ngayon? The joke. Sige, pagtutok ka sa YouTube. <laughs> eh, seryoso, Rick Beato to, pare. Kung saan, kung anong abutan, yun yung tutugtugin niya. Or try. Yun yung, yun yung challenge for me all the time was try. Kung, and uh, he would do it ma- all ma- afternoon. Mamaya na lang siguro kung ano. Kahit Spotify. Oh, Mag- test, play something, wag lang trap kasi wala namang ano yun. Walang chords yun. <laughs> Ay, well, meron Actually, naman. Madali lang yung trap. No, no. Nga. Sige. Uh, Sige, hindi, hindi ko titignan. No okay. look. Try ko yun. Oh, may challenge ano, siya. Ano, Paris, ano. Ano. Off stage siya. Mm. May ganito may challenge. na. May challenges na. Oh, chinalenge namin si sa previous episode si Yo na gumawa siya ng character based on a Diba? Bakit gano'n? Ha 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 Okay, okay Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Wow. May, meron akong ano, may one step yan. Nung tinugtog niya yan, tapos tinugtog niya yan, ito, dahil plaka, it's not in perfect 4.44. Four, four, mm-hmm. four so, it's drifted. May, may konting, may yeah, konti. May konting so, flat siya. Kinuha niya sa ballpark. So, mas shocking yun, ha? Char- Char- Real time, nakita mo yung adjustment, ha? I can't do that. I wish I could do that. You know? Boom. Ba? Alam mo na tak, ito yun. <laughs> Yan yung that's pinapakinggan so... ko in high school and college. That's how I learned. I'm still amazed. Grabe. grabe. One more, one more! Nagulat ako na kasi... Huwag masyado maraming chords. Ha? Sige, sige. And it's full of extensions. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, it's all these patterns, so... Ang ganda... To be fair, maganda pakinggan. Uh, it sounds really good. So that's how I learned. Ooh. Eh. Sige. Ano kaya daw next? What key was that? Eh, ito, ito, G sharp, A flat. Oh my god, A flat. Hindi ang hirap ng A flat. Sick! F. Oh wow. Ano ka tayo? Uh, after the love is gone. Ang chords dyan. Ang ganda ng kantang to. Sige, tuloy mo lang. I'll check the camera. Grabe! Grabe! 
Parang on the spot, pwede ka sumabay lang eh. Shift siya eh. Yung original device to something else. Pero ang curious ng kantang nito, kantang nito, ito liyata ay yung pinakamaraming chord changes na walang sense. Nireview ni Rick Biato to eh. Oh, that's the one. Ito yung kanta. He was playing in college. He was trying to play in college and nobody could get it right. Dahil ito yung only pop song na walang kinalaman yung chord changes with each other. They're all weird changes. Galing. Galing. May question ako. May question ako. Because somebody asked Somebody asked to play magazine last night. It was in our band. It was in our band. Mm. Sabi, I was playing bass. Mm. So, but I don't know what you did sa dulo. Because the chords is simple. It's uh -oh. C, E, C, E, B e, e major, and F, and then F minor. And then you did something sa end that the bass changed into. Iba na yung iti. Pareho pa rin yung same chords pa rin. Iba na yung iti. Iba na yung iti. Bago na lahat sa yo, but yung bass yung something nagalternate lang ako ng K of C but G ang bass. Iba na ang yung ita sa one. Iba na G sharp, G sharp over ano E over G sharp, then A minor. Bago na lahat sa yo. So dalawa lang. So yung G G sharp lang yun na iba. Yeah. Now I know to play on this. Hindi tano ng ako. Tinanong mo kasi mas nagustuhan mo yung version. Hindi alam kung may ginagawa siya pero hindi ko alam. Pero mas gusto mo siya? Mas Hindi, that's, that's the way the song goes. Sa, ah. sa ending ng song, nag-iba siya. Oo. Oh, oh. ah, nag-iba yung okay, bass line okay, sa ending. Okay. So, ito, yung, ito yung problema okay, ko na, okay. na mahilig ako, impatient ako, na sometimes yung four, four chords para sa akin. During that time, Hindi sobra yun. akong impatient. Biglang, kailangan kong tumugtog ng iba. And it doesn't, the song doesn't feel right without that bass line. But I didn't know that bass line. I know the guitar chord is still the same. Diba? C, E. Oh, ano siya? Parang mas tension eh. Parang mas tension siya. Ito yung normal. Tapos biglang... Parang nagiging ano na eh. Parang... Diba? May ano eh. May tension eh. Parang... Parang nakakagulo ka na. Galing. Sana hindi na. Simple chord change na ano. Bass change na eh. Bass change. Wow. You also do a, you also do what? Something sa end ng El Bimbo from sa Vamp. You also do something. Oh, you know this lah, dah. I can hear, I can't do, but I know. Do a la 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 la. Wait, wait, tell them the chord. It's it's G A B minor C. No, G A A C C G G O. It's very simple. G la 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 la. So same yung bass pa rin yun, ba? Tapos dahil impatient nga ako, nakailang ikot na yung, yung, yung vap na yun eh. When they're soloing the guitars uh, na. So, inisip ko, paano, ba, may classical way of playing G, A, C, G. So, ginawa ako, I play the dominant 7, which is F. I start with F. La, 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 la. Tapos, la, la, la. C over E. La, la, la. At, la. Paano yun? La, 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 la. <laughs> It's more easy to play the bass. So, the next question goes... That's when I know the song is going to end. Ah, okay. When I hear that, I don't know what this bass is. If I forgot what to do, how do I do it? Well, we didn't finish it. We'll just follow the skip solo. We'll just finish it. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. 
Ba't alam mo tat- matatapos na talaga? Oo. Uh-huh. Alam mo eh. Para Kailangan matapos na eh. May sobra na yung tension eh. Tsaka may party. Nakakaano kasi yun eh. Doon nagsimula. Doon nagsimula. Wow. O nga no? Tama. So, going back no, sa college kasi, you were honing all these skills. You guys were playing together. Let's go to the part na na-feel mo na na this could be a full-time job. How did that happen? Ano yung mga... What was happening around you that you started to realize na ah parang pwede to maging ito na pala yung career ko. It it was more like it, it was less that and more like oh my god uh kinik out na ako nung college of engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Pinauwi. <Sorry. laughs> Pinauwi na ako sa probinsya dahil nagkakalat na ako sa Hello, academically yeah. naka uh, ang dami kong singko. Singko! Kailangan mo marinig to ng anak mo ngayon na nasa oh. college, uh, uh, UP. Alam niya to. She, she, knows, she knows the story. Uno kid siya. Uno kid. Oh, she has Yo. very good grades. I'm so Hi, proud Peda. of you. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Uh, so, huwag tularan. Huwag tularan tong kwento to. So, I was doing so so badly na biglang, oh, okay. Um, chances are in, in one or two more SEMs, I'll be back home in the province <laughs> we have a we have a small restaurant Ay, na, oh, is, <laughs> probably doon ako magtatrabaho parang okay ito, wow. ito na yung magiging ano ko ito na yung magiging routine ko in, in a few years time or in, in a uh, acceptance di ba mm-hmm. parang uh, alam ko na yung mga friends ko in in Zamboanga did well when they graduated ano sila nurses mm. so, ano sila second wave ng nurses most to, of our batch yeah, right? our batch to North America or Germany or parts mm-hmm. of Europe Ganun biglang, eh, baka pwede ako mag-third batch. Pwede ako kumabol. So, Mag-nurse ka? Talaga? Nasa, ano yun? Nasa radar ko yun. At the back of your head. Wow. If, you, if you didn't make it as a band member. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't make it in UP Diliman. Okay, okay. Oh, may, may, laging may, may, ano, may, back up, may back backup. Up. Yun, buti na lang, ano, Sabado bukas. Buti na lang na, na, narinig ni Robbie yung, ano, when, uh, Robbie Sonico? Uh, was it Robbie or Patrick? Pare ko. A DMST. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It was, it was, it was another group of people who told Robbie. Uh, paano nyo naman nila narinig yun? Oh, mas alam ni Raymond yung kwentong yun. Kasi, nung, nung time na yun, nagkakalat pa rin ako sa, ano, sa school. Um, that time, from engineering, industrial engineering, kinik out oh, wow, ka, kicked out ako eh. So, uh, sayang. Ang ganda ng course na yun. And then I was, I had to drop out because I was kicked out. So, I had, I found myself, uh, in one school that took me in. One college. One college that took me in, in UP Diliman. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, really bunch of nice people. UP uh, Industrial, uh, to, sorry, sorry, uh, Library Science, mm-hmm. Institute mm-hmm. of Library mm-hmm. Sciences. And uh, so it was more databasing. The, the Dewey Decimal System. The, the, the Dewey Decimal System. Return your books! <laughs> So I was on my way to, ano, oh. to to learning to become a library la, librarian, and then during that time, um, yun na yun, na ma- somebody heard the heads and then somebody heard Pareko and then they started talking about it. Mas ini invite kami to perform in in um, UP Mountaineers sa engineering. Mm. So I think my one gig nga na we we played, we were lucky to play with the Don. Uh, that was the first. That was the first, right? Wow. That was the first. Wow. Uh, picture pa kami. I remember that. Yeah. We were nakaupo kami ng steps and then si Kiko. Uh, wow. Anyway, yun. So with with so engineering, kami. I remember that. Engineering, yun. And then um, yun. Biglang dun ko na realize para, wow. Hindi uh, ko kailang umuwi ng probinsya. <laughs> I, I might just make There's it. Another way. You guys were already just getting it. paid. No, 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 no. Nobody gets paid during that time. Why By the not? way, we don't all think about this ta- the same way. Ah. Mm-hmm. It, oh, well, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, very yeah, yeah, yeah. unique. Yeah. Uh, everybody has a different story. So, yung story ko w- w- had more, had less to do with the heads making it than staying in UP. Oh, than staying yeah, in yeah, UP yeah, 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 for a yeah, reason yeah. to stay in school. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, technically, Academic minded pa rin ako during that time kasi I had to stay in school. I have to stay in, in UP. Um, yun nga lang, I was going about it the, uh, the wrong way. So, eh, but to be fair, nung panahon natin, ano, what, time, uh, what age are we in college? 16? 
Seventeen? Ano alam mo when you're sixteen oh. or seventeen? When you're going I still don't know. You're shit. a baby. <laughs> Sing ba, baby you're a baby. Ka. We're, so, we're fifty. We don't know shit. <laughs> still, still. So when you're sixteen or seventeen, and then you dadaling ka sa ibang ban, uh, ibang probinsya, ibang bansa, you go to college, and then you're supposed to decide, hey, I'm going to Uh-oh. be a biotechnologist. Exactly. No, yeah. you don't think like that. You're sixteen. Yeah. I was sixteen. I dinala ako sa UP Diliman, fresh out of Zamboanga City. I was just happy away. To be away from 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 Zamboanga, wala akong alam about college. Mm. Lucky lucky for me, um, yung yung direction ko chose uh, became musical. It was a musical direction. It was a musical journey, and then I found myself with Sina Raymond with the with the heads. So um, now here we are. <laughs> so let's talk about your and the uh, the after your your work after the heads because right now you're a session your session is for. Moonstar and well, nagkambio rin pala kayo. Maybe you can, you guys can talk to us more about mm. sa kambio naman. So, Kasi yun yung right, uh, right after. Ah, okay. So Moonstar, I was lucky enough. I asked if I could join the band. They were, they were. Uh, I was lucky enough that they were, they, they welcomed. You gotta do it chrono- chronologically. Oh my. Yeah. I think you gotta do it because I know the story. Yeah. I'm thinking it's better if it's chronological. Chronological. So, cambio muna. No, so yeah, I start with cambio. Cambio. Okay. Wait. The heads broke up in 2001, 2002, more or less. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was after the last album, Carbon Stereo of Thay. And then um, a year or so after that, I was uh, lucky enough to join the band Nivin. Twisted Halo. Twisted Halo. Mm. I, I produced them a, a few years before that, the mm. EP. Nila. And uh, their bassist moved on. To Sugar Free. To Sugar Free. Ah. Jal. Jal was the bassist. Jal Tagibao. Tapos wala silang basis. This is good. This is good. Sa- sabi ko, eh. oh, chronological. Sabi ko, what's up, Vin? Can I, can I play bass for your songs? Mm-hmm. I, I, alam ko na yung mga kanta eh. I uh, was part of that. And then, um, Cambio. Yeah, no, we were touring with Vince's wife, si Chris. Si because Vince's head, now wife. Yes. Si Chris mm-hmm. Dancel because the heads were still booked for like several months. She was ah, the right. vocalist for right. the time. I got her to, yeah. Yeah, oh. to finish all the contracts. Oh, kailangan pala mag-rewind mm-hmm. pa ng kawante. Sorry, I forgot. Totally forgot about that. Now, nung wala na yung heads in 2001, we were still booked solid for like six or seven months. Wow. So, we, until the next, wow. uh, that is until the next year. Meron, sure meron kami uh, oh, contractually yeah. obligated mm-hmm. to fulfill. Otherwise, oh. legally liable. liable kami yeah. For, yeah. So we had to find somebody to string. Fill in and sing, and we were lucky enough to find Chris. Chris. Bakit siya yung napili niyo? Well, what's your reason? I have a reason. What's your reason? Both. You know, oh, uh, <laughs> she looked. She looked good with the guitar. That she was nice. one. one. Oh, she, that was one. And then antagal ko na kilala si Chris because Chris oh, yeah, is the singer one. of uh, Fatal Posporos. Fatal Posporos. Mm. That was also uh, managed by my my wife. The Ernest, which we produced, also. which we also produced. Mm. Yeah. So it's a small circle. It was a group of friends. And then um, she can handle a crowd. She can handle anyone. So we figured na parang this is the very easy transition. Mm. Uh, we just had to change the key of some of the songs because she has a higher voice. So para sa akin, uh, challenge again. But I, I welcome the challenge. Any reason? Mo? It was similar. She looked good on the guitar. She mm. plays really well. Yeah, actually. she she subs for all my bands and she can play really well. Sa guitar, one of the best guitar players. Rhythm. Sing really well, mm. and then hindi mo ako compare kasi babae. Yun na nga, may, actually that's my follow up question. Was it a conscious decision? It na is, babae? But if you choose a guy, he's always gonna be compared. There there will no more guy. Oh, there there will, nobody can. No one can measure up. To measure that. up. Uh, uh, walang point. Diba? And it's from from Ellie, who is the original singer. Hmm. Ah, hirap non, diba? But if it's a girl, nobody will say, say, oh, hindi ka tunog. It's not gonna sound the Kasi same. Baba, eh. Oh, but we'll sing the song. So, Yun. so cut to uh, six or seven months hmm. later, tapos hmm. na lahat ng obligations. Hmm. So, oh my God, we can close the books. Hmm. Ano na siya? Uh, we, can, uh, we can say, hey, we've been professional. Eh, ang dami na naming natugtog and we figured na... Unit na kayo. Oh, it was a, it was a working musical unit, a group already na may mga kanta si Raymond. Yeah, Marcos exited. He moved to La Union mm. as to start surfing. Mm. Kaya hindi naging ano na, cambio na. Oh, kasi si Diego Umalis and na. Ebe started playing with the mm. band. Mm. And Ebe is Chris's brother-in-law. Oh, oh, oh. And Diego is my band. bandmate ko na ba siya nun? I'm not even sure. Hindi pa yata. Wala pang pedicab nun. 
But I was producing Monster Bot. So that's how and I did it. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, Yun. So it was a working musical group already. And maraming kata between Raymond and and so Eben, Eben, yeah. Eben and Diego. Diego. So yeah. big lang, okay, let's let's do this. Eh? Naka ilang al- naka two albums ko. Two ka albums. Ka. Recorded at home. That's recorded you, at your home. home. Yeah. Your home. So after nun, uh, Moonstar na? No. Ah, hindi pa, sorry. No, I was in... Hadda doon? I, no, I was in NU. Okay. And then nakita ko si Francis there. Maganda nila. Yeah, Maganda yeah, ng kwento ko. Sige na. Yeah. Francis, what's wrong? Sabi niya. Tapos kahit tayo kasi bumura siya. Pwede ka ba humura? Pwede ba yan? Pero hindi ko alam yung exact words niya eh. Pero nagbumura siya. Sabi niya, bad trip. Hindi ka bad trip or bass player. Quit. Sabi ko, why move to Hong Kong? So, I know a guy. <laughs> yung bass player nila quit to go to Hong Kong to do the to do the work na I initially had in my head in college which was to play uh, oh, to play uh, over uh, no. to play in another country uh, 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 mga and professionally earn dollars, profession, yes, and, professionally and earn dollars professionally yun yun. so and I know a guy <laughs> so big luck did he call you oh you know, you know. Okay. so he called you not Jet I, I'm sure nag usap sila, okay. knowing, knowing them. But the, Francis is the one who called you. Ah, uh, Steve. Mm. And ask. Because I didn't ask anymore. Mm. Tapos yun, so after... And sorry, and also, di ba nag-play kayo one of the first gigs nyo, kasama da doon? But so, they don't remember, I mean, sa kanila, we were, they were the don. We, we were, just, were just a college band. We were just one of the bands parang who played. Parang still, parang still, nabiglang ikaw, I mean, after the show. We were fans, ano, we were fans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry, just bakit pa ano? Yun, um... Continue. Ano Name yan? that song, guys. Name that song. But hindi pa tumayong key. Yun yung tamang key. Eh. E flat. D. We play e? in D now. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Tsaka yung the don yung naalala ko lang kasi napanood ko yung videos, music videos nila na stadium. Tapos pinupuno nila parang mm. grabe. In, in the 80s. I was there. Yeah. Yeah. Si Raymond is a huge fan. I'm a big fan. Still is. No, so nung 80s um sila yung stadium band. No, no, what happened when Francis called? Oh, yeah, yeah, did you yeah, audition? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I don't know anymore. Eh. I did didn't audition. I didn't have to audition. I, w- I wow. was lucky enough to na hindi, na, hindi ko na kailangan mag-audition. I ang alam ko lang is gig right away or rehearsal. Alam ko I I said yes. And then biglang nag naghanap na ako nung nung mga cassette nung mga bigla. Hmm. Sino may Wala pa yung chances. Sino may the don? <laughs> inaaral ko na. Inaaral ko na lahat how would Kaloy, the bass player. But he's not the one you replaced. No, but yeah. I, I always go back to the, so original, original, the, the recordings. Yeah. These the are recordings. recordings. Yung reference ko is always the recordings because that's what people know. Mm. So pinahinggang ko how he plays and I go, I cannot play like this. Kalo is a big dude and then he plays slap. He slap and disco oh, uh, octaves. Oh, and it's totally different way of it. It ano talaga siya? Grab yung energy. So I had to find a way to play like him, but more like me. The way I can play. What y- yung reference? You make it your your own, but uh, still the same. Uh, so yun yung even before going into the first rehearsals, y- yung yung inimagine kung may inimagine na ako tunog how I fit my my thing with, with yung ano yung playing ko with 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 the existing band. So um, lucky for me, first rehearsals, yung tunog ko mm, so so. But medyo na holy ko na kung ah okay, ito yung pulso ng banda. This is the pulse of the band. So I think from from day one, I was able to do my job because I stayed with them for God, it's ten years. How was first rehearsal? Did you rehearse in June? Uh, June Boys Always place. June Boys Place. Always How June intense is it? Because I know that pag you've seen our bands rehearse, mm-hmm. we're so mellow, na kaw po steady. Uh-huh. That, so, do, I've, I've rehearsed with the Don, and they're June Boys the drummer. Oh, June Boys the drummer. Leo, Leo uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. He's he's nine years my senior. Mm. So. And they play loud. Si June Boy kasi is is a very energetic, athletic siya. Nag last before ako sumali nagba badminton siya. Mm-hmm. So ang idea niya of of performing is loud, fast and strong. Bombastic. Mm-hmm. Bombastic talaga. Which even is even rehearsals, de ba? Oh, rehearsals are are ano uh, performance level. Oh, do. Oh. oh, si Jet na agad to sa rehearsal. Eh. Ah, ganun eh. Yan, yan. Uh, Nag-rehearse yan dito eh. Inakit yung paa sa bass drum ko ako. Parang, what the oh. fuck? Ang goal, si Junway, pag tumugtog yan, ang goal niya, papawisan siya. It's a workout. Ang goal niya is after after playing, kailangan niya magbihis kasi pawis so na pawis. How did you feel? Parang, kasi so, you never, none of our bands. Nagulat ako kasi ganit, mag-rehearse kami, ganito lang. Ano, oh, steady. Oh, <laughs> Kape tayo. Oh, begin. <laughs> Tapos doon, bigla, one, two, puto na. Parang sports. 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 Oh, sports. Bad sprint ka agad. Sprint. <laughs> Oo. Oh, 
that Solid. with the dawn I learned to play hard mm. and loud. Na hanggang ngayon hard, dumal- loud and fast. Hard, loud and fast. Na hanggang ngayon dumili tao parin even with my bands that do not play hard, loud and fast. Sometimes I catch myself. Sometimes I don't catch myself. Na oh my god, I'm playing too fast. I'm playing too loud. I'm playing too hard. Na biglang yung banda ko pala steady lang. Steady. Yun. So yun yung learning ko with with the dawn. I learned to play. I learned to be on stage. Na yung point of the performance is to blow away. Mm. Parang kick their asses. All the time. Kick their asses. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Na na yun hanggang ngayon inaaral ko pa rin. I'm still learning it. So after nun is Hilera or it How did you get to Hilera? I ito hindi ko alam. How did you get to Hilera? Were mm. you subbing for ano? Or? No. Um si Eli he had may may rehearsal. He had octaves. He oh, had he had oh, octaves oh, 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 at oh. kabanda niya na si Chris mm. Padilla doon. And then si na Chris naman lost their bass player for a while. For a bit, yeah, for a bit. So kailangan nila ng bassist. Eh, may isang rehearsal na pinuntahan ko for, I think it was a partel. Mm. Okay, that can't be a partel because that was way later. Pa. No, no, no. No. May tambay with Ellie and si Erwin Romulo. Uh, okay. I remember. And then, syempre, dahil tambay yun. So, this is before the Esquire thing. I think, I think it was about before. the Esquire thing. So, yeah. pag may tambay, red wine. Mm. And, and when you have red wine, you say a lot of stupid things, di ba? Parang, <laughs> ma- ano ka eh. Sa, ba- sa bahay ni Eli to? Ang guess ko, rehearsal studio. Rehearsal studio. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, some rehearsal studio. Sabi nila, you should play bass for Hilera. Biglang, wait, di ba ka banda mo sila, no? Oo, oh, wala silang bassist. Sige. Pa-send ng mga kanta. Um... Pinahinggang ko yung mga kanta. Tapos yung mga kanta na pinadala, bago pala. They were all new songs. Totally okay. new songs mm-hmm. na nire-record ni Ellie sa kanyang mm-hmm. studio. The, what, what's his studio? Bunker. The bunker. So it was like 9 or 10 songs, totally brand new, na walang bass parts. Mm-hmm. Sinay ko, oh my God. Pinas- so it's just the brothers? I just, I, oh, it's the drummer, si Bobby, and si Chris, the singer, guitar player. Biglang, I'm supposed to fill in for them, ang, ang alam ko, I'm supposed to be doing yung mga lumang kanta, oh, yung mga, yeah. di ba? Just to perform the old songs. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yun, sinay ko, yun yung alam ko. Biglang, what? What are they? create ka ng ano. Totally new songs, uh-huh. sinay ko, oh my god. I jumped in straight into a recording. So, I did the recording. Um, Where'd you record? Dun nga, so the bunker. Bunker. Uh-huh. Uh, dahil humingi ako ng demos a few days before. When I got to the bunker, I finished all the whole album in one afternoon. <laughs> May idea na ako eh. Tapos biglang si Chris, biglang, oh, wow! So, yun. So, one afternoon. <laughs> Grabe. Hanggang, hanggang gabi naman. Ginabi naman kami. Buti na lang, they stayed with me. At natapos yung album, and uh, yun, I was, I was, ano, I was, I was part of Hilera. And around the same time, um, uh, Moonstar also. Si Paolo started playing mm. for parokya. Yeah. Si Basis Paolo. ng Moonstar si Paolo started playing for again yun parokya locally in the Philippines. Kasi si Bowie was in the states na mm. and he would only he would do international shows mm. Mm. with them. So si Paolo yun dito. Walang bass player oh, yung Moonstar. Who called yeah, you yeah, for yeah. Moonstar? I did. Oh. oh, I did. I called Darwin. Sabi ko Dar, what's happening with what's happening with your band? Ano niyari with Moonstar? Ah, wala walang bass player. Can I play bass for Moonstar? Sabi niya, ah, sandali lang. Let me tawagan kita. Five minutes. Drop the call. Three minutes, biglang. Sabi nila ko, ah, okay, game. Yeah. So I found myself in, in Why Moonstar. did you offer? Bakit gusto mo, why did you want to play bass for them? One of the things na natutunan ko with, with a band like The Dawn is that you can actually have a working career with not so many popular songs, not so many singles. Mm. Uh, Am I supposed? To, am I allowed to talk like this? I guess. I guess. If you think about it, yung ang pinanggagaling ko again is a working band. Mm. So whether it's a it's a band performing covers or a band performing its own material, you you still have to come up with yung show show proper na you, you can play uh, night in and night out na may impress yung audience mm. na babalikan ka ng mga promoters. Hey, we 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 loved what you did sa fiesta na to. Mm. The audience the loved you. Ba? Oh, yeah. balik kayo next year, di ba? Mm dito sa Pampanga or dun sa Ilocos or dito sa Mindanao. And you have to put up a show na ganun. So you have to anchor it with a really good 
set list. Mm -hmm. So you can actually do that. What what I learned with the Dawn is that you can actually do it with even just three popular songs. Mm -hmm. Diba? You put one in the start, somewhere in the start, you put one in the middle, in the middle and one in the end. Then you string it together. Mm -hmm. It's a working may show. May may covers, get na. Oh, covers or spills. Ganun. It's a working show. It's yeah. a working band. So sabi ko, I would like to apply that with a band na meron ng discography na ganun. And then, di ba parang, inaral ko yun during that time. I might as, I'm not with the ba yeah. that band anymore. I might yeah. as well do it with another band. And get work because I still so, need to work. It makes sense. Kumbaga, hindi ka na, it, you, you don't look at it as something kumbaga, objective and very kumbaga, unbiased. And right. ang galing. It, it's hard to, I guess, since siyempre, musicians are attached to their work. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure feeling natin or ng mga iba na every song is siyempre, it's a hit. Diba? Pero mm -hmm. kumbaga, if yung, the way you look at it, kasi napapansin ko, like some acts na nakikita ko sa States, parang may pagkaganon din yung style, lalo na yung mga, mm. yun nga, na parang kaya ASAP Rocky. Tatlo lang rin naman talaga yung, hindi naman siya sobrang dami, parang Kendrick eh. So, ganun talaga. Yeah. It's a business machine na you have to... Oh, so, so para sa mga fans ng, ng mga artists, na ito yung, it, this is the part where the hard work comes in. Mm. Ito yung ginagawa ng artist. So, we've worked on our craft, we've worked on our sound, we, we, do, we know the show we're going to do. This is the part where we're trying to make the show as bulletproof as possible na mamatay man yung kuryente, mawala yung kuryente, the show is still there. Uh, may, man, may naputulan ng string sa gitara, the show is still going to work. Tsaka yung for me, yung the, the, the fact na sobrang entertaining niya. Right, right. Hindi mo mapapansin yung oras. As in, pinaghandaan talaga siya. Correct, correct. So yun yung, yun yung point ko with, with, with a group like Moonstar. At that time, they were slowing down already. Mm. Everybody, everybody's always had a day job. Uh, Moonstar is a band that that has uh, uh, they have day jobs, kahit na walang banda. And their boss, mga boss yun sa day job nila. They're pretty mm. much their own bosses. Mm. Once, once, once an agent, own company. Once an agency head. Si Mesh is a pharmacist na who does data analytics. So international pa yung company. Uh -oh. Oh, yun yung yung client. Si Bon is an artist. Ano so, sabi ko? Let's uh, no, let's let's do Moonstar again. This is how we'll do it. You, we have we have Torete, we oh. have uh, Sulat, we have And they're Gilid. really big. They're really big. Then. Oh, di ba parang hey, this can be a this, this can be something we we uh, no, this can be something you're proud you can be proud of that you'll be doing all the way to your 70s. Tama, 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 tama. Galing, yun yun eh. But you guys are also recording new material, eh, diba? We did. We've See, been recording for the past yeah. two years. Pang, yun, pang, eh, pang dagdag, syempre, oh, diba? New course, material. Uh, I, ito, just talking about the live show. Yeah, yeah, new yeah, material, yeah, yeah, yeah. si Raymond, we were lucky enough to have si Raymond produce the new album, which is hopefully coming out this when year. When is it coming out? <laughs> I don't know. When was that? Four years ago? Been, yeah, I kala mo, two years. Yeah. Lang. So, ganun. Um, waiting for, ano, waiting for that bus. <laughs> So how about the you you guys also work together sa sa four on the floor ah, five on the floor sorry Conte. for for San so ano yung experience naman working together oh, outside think, of the heads ah uh, this is a good question mm. I think kasi we've always worked together well uh, as producers kasi we complement each mm. complement not complement complement each other skill sets skill set. yung 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 hindi ko alam, alam na alam ni Buddy. Tapos yung wala siyang interest, alam na alam ko. <laughs> so I think it, it works well for all the artists. It's not only for Sandwich. Mm -hmm. who, who have we produced over the years? I've helped with Yang when you were produce, with producing Yang. Yang. With, we worked with Dong. With, with Dong Abay. Uh, Fatal Posporos. We worked with Shudad. Everybody cheats. Itchy I Worms. Think, yeah. Itchy Worms. worms. Uh, I think 9 out of 10 things that I produce... Buddy has a hand in it. Oh. 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 Ano yun? Um, sugar free we produce. Sugar oh, a lot of sugar free. That was fun. Chico Sai, we did some Chico Sai. I helped a bit with mm. Chico Sai. Yun, ang ano siya, uh, tama, yung, yung story there is that um, the stuff that interests me, like harmonies and melody and, and how to make a part thicker or thinner or ganon. Mm. Complements well yung, with yung sense of rhythm ni Raymond, yung sense of w what fits where and alam mo yun. Uh, so, Halos walang overlap eh, which is... 
literally I can sleep while he's working mm. and then Rems it's your turn <laughs> okay that's all na I would really okay. sleep in the studio di ko alam yan eh sa tulog lang and then you'd work on the harmonies with the singer or the guitar player oh and then and then one of the things na ano because ako I like to add things na to kahit na sobrang hindi na nag-work to the detriment of the artist na parang let's do this let's add that biglang gigising na lang si Rem parang don't do that that's too much tulog siya ulit baliktad daw subtractive so oh, yeah. complementary pa rin diba ako nag-add it and subtractive na ako. because I like to keep adding stuff how about sa Coke Studio ano yung experience niyo naman you, you guys were on there at the same pero ibang bands diba yeah same we did pero, the same yun na nga so same, ano, 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 we, we, we were producing for, for the artists oh. in Coke Studio season 1 um, we did the same thing. Pagdating sa harmonies and melodies, usually ako, and then pagdating sa rhythm recording, usually si Raymond, and then, and then biglang, pag may, hey, anong note ng bahista dito? And then I would have something, biglang. We would solve problems for bands. Yeah. Oh, tapos, ang difference lang naman is, it's on camera eh. Mm. You know, it was, so may kontra. Parang reality happening. show. Oh, and then sometimes pag, nahirapan yung artist kasi may camera we'd shut down the shoot eh. Ah, okay. sinasabi niya, oh, oh man. Man. Take, take, take 20. Uh -oh. And then we'd take the artist kasi may ano eh, may, may ilaw, uh -oh. may mga tao nanonood and you're trying to figure gumawa. out your uh -oh. part. So gagawin namin, patay namin, alis, labas kayo lahat. Which we actually do in real life with uh -oh. other bands. Parang gulo ng badmates mo, lumabas muna kayo. And then after the part, we'll just shoot you in for TV, yung, mm. yung video yun yung, yun yung mahirap with a thing like, uh, not a lot of people know about a uh, project like yung sa Coke Studios, is that when when bands are working, it's a safe place. The studio is a very safe place. So it's a place where you can be vulnerable to make mistakes, magmukha nga, just because it's in the pursuit of coming up excellence. with this uh, excellence. Yung, yung sound mo, of your lyrics, of your ganon. So you can be very vulnerable. Jan, it's hard to do that when there are a ton of lights, when there are like six photographers, strangers, oh. and then strangers in the back. And the director waiting for you to get a good take. Diba? Mm -hmm. Yun yun eh. Ang daming interests rin kasi involved. Mm -hmm. Oo. Oh, so... And some artists want parang walang ilaw and just the mic or yeah. kandila yeah. lang, diba? And hindi pwede sa shoot oh, na. Walang makikita. Oh. Pero we still did that. We did that. Wala, parang man, we re you recognize right away, no, he needs, she needs to be or he needs to be alone mm -hmm. playing drums. Mm -hmm. Diba? Parang mm -hmm. hindi, hindi pwedeng may nanonood because hindi pumapasok yung fill eh. Parang he's waiting mm -hmm. for that fill and then he'll, diba? Um, do you have, what, what else do you have? Actually, sabi, uh, last question now. Mm. Mm. Pero sabihin ko pa lang, it seems like since we're on the topic of you guys producing uh, yung mga young artists or mga bagong artists, not necessarily young, sa bago, parang it seems like uh, sobrang kay, you, you would be the perfect, to, to, to me, parang ang sarap nyo ka-work with kasi yun nga, ganda ng chemistry nyo and at the same time, you're not really, kumbaga, even if you guys could be intimidating pers people, personas, you, you do your best na hindi masyado. So, uh, yung isang last question ko would be, ano yung advice na mabibigay mo to kids who want to follow your footsteps? I'm sure kasi I think the e has us carved out yung niche na parang indie band, uh, wala masyadong pakits, biglang boom, mega stars, diba? So, I'm sure a lot of young guns, young young bloods would want to follow in that vein. So, ano yung advice mo sa kanila? And is that the best way to go? Kumbaga, what's the best way to go about it? Yung kwento na heads is specific to the heads. Mm -hmm. um, we were lucky enough to be at, uh, at the right place the wrong time. Or conversely, <laughs> wrong place, right time. <laughs> ano yun? It's, it's, it's something that happened to us na it's hard to replicate. Mm -hmm. Parang, but if your passion, or sorry, if your point is to go on a musical journey that is entirely yours, that is entirely impossible to replicate also, then ang pwede kong share na advice is uh, keep practicing on your craft. I mean, you keep hearing this, you read it and pretty much anywhere. Pero the more you practice your craft, mas ma develop mo yung voice mo. Eh. You'll, you'll be able to find what makes you you. Mm. What as opposed to hey, I can I can Just play. Uh -huh. I can do so many things, but so can like twenty other people uh -huh. sound the same thing, look the same thing. But keep doing what you're doing, practice on your craft, 
Kasi yun yung lalabas yung tunog mo, lalabas yung character mo, yung, yung personality mo will come out there. And then, once you start doing that, you'll be able to face people and when they say, pangit yan, palitan mo, you'll go like, hindi, pinaghirapan ko to, ito yung tunog ko eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ito yung, gagawin ko yung gusto ko. So that way, you'll be able to, kung gagawin mo yun, you'll be able to have the confidence to say na, oh, tangan mo, <laughs> gagawin ko, gagawin ko. Parang ganun. So, short of the cussing and the cursing, it, it, it pays to have that kind of attitude na you work on your craft where you're able to say na when people are trying to change your mind or trying mm. to force you to do something you're not or you're not used to, you'll just tell them, no, I'll do, I'll do my, my thing. I think we should have Buddy again. I think Another one. next time when we go back, it's gonna be you with with Moonstar para ibang perspective, or Ooh. whoever current band you've been your or artist you're working on. Sure. I have a question. I've been trying. To, I don't know if I'm gonna say it kanina or put it off or ask you. You can but, always stop the recording, no man. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I know I'm. I'm the one editing it. Okay. But we have a band. It's called Ultra Combo, mm-hmm. and it plays a lot of. It only plays the head songs. A lot of head songs. Right. Pretty much a lot of head songs. And we just decided on this band really fast. Only my version is, my version is para. There's so many people asking for the heads, but obviously the heads are not together mm. at the moment. Mm-hmm. So I called buddy, buddy. There's somebody booking. Are you willing to play the head songs? Are they? They're insisting to play the heads. Like oh, sabi ni buddy, sure. And then three years later, we're we're in a band together. Mm. What is your version? Of why we've never talked about like why, why are we gonna be ultra We just like started playing and then who who's gonna play guitar? Whoever's there, so it's either uh, Paolo uh, or Kai Onasan or Jesse, or, yeah. and we're going to the states playing with Jesse Grinter or yeah. Kaijin. What what's your version? Why are you playing ultra combo? When we started ultra combo, because I always love playing the head songs. Because it's sobrang challenge for me. Again, it's um, especially yung mga kanta na biglang, hey, can you do ano? Can you do um, Shake Your Head? We've never done Shake Your Head. Ellie's never sung it on stage na yung with intent talaga. In passing, oh. And then we could never play it in, in recording. So, uh, it's a challenge for me and I'm always up for it. It started off, para sa akin, was, hey, free practice. Hmm. So when we get to do the heads again, practice na ako. Hmm. I'm, 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 I'm warmed up. And then, it became more like, oh, you know what? I, I'm revisiting yung mga old stuff that I did, and I know now what I did wrong, so I can I know what to do now. I, I can play it better, I think. And then, with the added challenge na if I have to sing it, if I have to sing it, you can. I have to play it another way. Uh. Big lang in my head, parang, oh my God, yung time pala na when we were recording this, and Ellie was singing it a certain way, yung when I was playing it, siguro sobrang hell for, for the singer yun. Dahil, <laughs> ang hirap! Ang hirap nung ginagawa ako compared to, it wasn't complimenting. Uh, contrast. Uh, ako, big fan ako ng contrast. But, now that I know this, um, it wasn't, it was less complimentary and more um, adventurous on my part. So now, because I have to sing some songs, biglang, oh my god, I can actually play it with one or two notes. So to go back to yung, yung kwento ko with El Bimbo, there are parts na I can I need to play one note, boom, two, three, four, then another note, and it's enough. And it's actually what the song needs. Mayon at 50 years old, na realize ko biglang, oh my god, I've been playing, uh, for instance, yung Shake Your Head, so busy, but I played it like a 21 year old would, because I was 21 years old then. But now I know I can actually do just. I was born upside down. I felt my grandma put my feet on the ground. Kilo pa kailangan nun. So now I play it that way. And there, so to answer your question, the reason I'm doing this now is because I'm kicking myself because I didn't know that then. Now that I know it, I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm, I'm willing to perform it live. All right, perfect. <laughs> we'll see you in the shows. In April, America yeah. City, Yo. and catch us here in Manila. Oh, combo. we hope to see you soon in Canada, New Zealand. Where else do you want to play? Everywhere. We want to play Italy, oh. Europe, oh. Europe. Oh. 
Sasama na si Darren. Yo, game, 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 game. Let's go in natin yan. Thanks, buds. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. This is fun. Thank you.